let's do touristy things in San Francisco. I think this is the main entrance. We'll go with it. I don't know what they have here, but the one thing I'm looking for is that fortune cookie place. Five for ten ninety nine. That's a steal. Golden Gate Bakery looks like a winner. There's a line. All right, guys. I got the egg custard. I paid someone ten bucks just so I can just get one right in front of the line, so I didn't have to wait. Let's see if it's any good. Ooh, hot. It's very crispy on the outside, and that custard is different. I think it's because it's so fresh. That's what makes the huge difference here. You can see how jiggly it is. I've actually never had it this fresh before, so let me try another bite. If you're into egg tarts, 9.5. If you're not into egg tarts, you're probably gonna be like 7.9. But that warm silkiness, when it's fresh, it makes a huge difference. Luckily, the lady in front bought like 12 of them, so she was happy to take 10 bucks from me. This is an interesting little alleyway. Finally made it here. This lady's handing out fortune cookies. You can literally smell the fortune cookies in here. You go with the big fortune cookie. They're like making it custom, that's pretty cool. I guess if you make a purchase, they throw in extra fortune cookies for you. Interesting, it's kind of warm. Pretty good. I'm gonna find a nice spot to open this big fortune cookie. I don't even know what it looks like. There's literally this giant fortune cookie. Look at it, it's the size of my head almost. You guys don't have a big head. Let's see how this thing tastes. <laughs> this was definitely not worth 10 bucks. There's little fortune cookies inside. It broke it in half. There's actually only one fortune cookie inside. That's so sad. Something special will happen at home soon. In bed. <laughs> Definitely don't order that fortune cookie. It was super stale. It didn't have any flavor. One out of ten. On the bright side, you get this nice little bag though. You guys dare me to get in one of those Waymo cars that has no driver? I might do it just for you guys. In all honesty, Chinatown was kind of a little let down. I thought there'd be more stuff going on, but I didn't go down every street either. Off to Fisherman's Wharf. Well, I made it to Fisherman's Wharf and I'm kind of already done. <laughs> Only thing I wanted to see was Alcatraz and there was. I can confirm this is a tourist trap and I am done. <laughs> There's a lot of shops here to shop at, and there's also a lot of places to eat, but I wasn't feeling it, so I'm just gonna walk back the long way up the hill. So much for my touristy video of San Francisco. I'll see you next time. Tony Koo, out.